Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you my empties. So all of the products that I've used up recently, I have a whole bin on my lap of things and I wanted to just go through it um, and show you what I've used up. I have makeup, skincare, candles, all sorts of things. So some of it is things I've used, a lot of it things I've used up, some of it's like decluttered things I'm trying to get out of my collection. So yeah, if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely keep on watching. Before we start, I wanted to mention what I'm wearing. I always like to do this for eyes and lips. Um, the Xeon Hip Dot eyeshadow palette. I'm wearing some of those like warm orangey red tones in here. This is a really underrated palette. It's a really pretty formula and nice and pigmented so that's on my eyes and then I have uh, Anna sheer strength hydrating lip tint in for, from Thrive Cosmetics it is a pretty nice like sheer wash of color and it is in Anna the cherry red shade and I thought it went well with the eye look so yeah let's just get right into it so I have a ton of stuff I'm just gonna kind of grab and talk about it this is a hair product. We have this Biolage Ultra Hydra Source Shampoo. And this was nice. I did enjoy going through it. Let me know if you guys like seeing hair, um, skin, hair, skin care. I was almost going to say skin care and hair care. And I combined the words hair care products. Tell me if you like to see them. I don't always include them. But this was a nice shampoo. It smelled really nice. Very hydrating. I did purchase another um, another shampoo more recently, so I'm kind of trying something new out, but this is a good, good product. I would recommend it. I could see myself repurchasing eventually, so there is that. Another hair product, I have the Drunk Elephant Wild Marilla Tangle Spray. This is my second one that I think I've gone through. This is a really nice hair product. I love the smell of it and you just spray it through your hair after a shower and I do miss having this so I think I will repurchase it in my next Ulta order. Drunk Elephant is now at Ulta and so I think that will be a good purchase for the next time that um, I make a purchase at Ulta. I am using another leave-in conditioner type of product now but I think this will be good for, you know, I can see myself repurchasing it pretty soon. I have some skincare products. Let's go over those. I have Skin Fix. Is the, the first time I've tried this brand, I believe. This was a BoxyCharm product. It is the AHA BHA Enzyme Exfoliating Pads, the Resurface Plus ones. I went through all of the pads. There was, I don't know how many were in here. I don't know if it'll say. 60 pads and it was like the weirdest smell it was like not a bad smell but it was just an interesting smell but I don't think I will repurchase these I did really enjoy them I felt like it really did exfoliate and kind of help with my pores I deal with you know I don't know more larger pores on my nose than I would like so I feel like this did help and it says it is it targets visible pores, roughness, uneven skin tone, fine lines and wrinkles, appearance of dark spots and discoloration. I think it did all those things. I did enjoy it. Um, I do have other AHA, BHA products, so I don't think I need this in my collection, but I did really enjoy it. Also, pads, the pads like this are a little more not the best for the environment, so I don't always go for these, or I try not to go for them, but this was a good product while I had it. You know, I enjoyed it. It was a boxy charm, as I said. But yeah, still not a bad product. I have the Thrive Cosmetics Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask. This is such a favorite. It smells so good and it feels so nice on the skin. I really do enjoy it. Let me smell it. It smells so good. Yes, I would totally recommend this. It is really, really great. And I don't use this every day, but I use this a lot of times when I just want a little more brightening effect for my skin. Like I feel like maybe 
couple times a week is when I would introduce this as instead of my moisturizer and it's just such a good product so yeah I already did repurchase this one so definitely love this big favorite I have a few Thrive Cosmetics stuff so maybe I can try to get through those I have the Defying Gravity Eye Lifting Cream really really great eye cream from them and I was sad <laughs> to see it go but I would say, um, I don't think I repurchased this yet, but I definitely think I could see myself repurchasing it in the future. I do have an eye cream right now that I'm going through, so I will be holding off on this, but definitely would repurchase in the future. It's very nice for the uh, under eyes, and I use it on my eyelids as well, and it, I feel like it does make a difference. So I would say in the future, I can see myself repurchasing. Then the Defying Gravity Transforming Moisturizer from Thrive Cosmetics. Really enjoy this product as well. It has this really nice citrusy smell and it's just very like, almost like a heavier moisturizer. So I could see myself repurchasing this in the winter months. I'm really enjoying my other moisturizers now that are a little bit more lightweight. But this one is maybe a good winter moisturizer for me. So I'm gonna wait until around then, but I can see myself repurchasing at that point. I have a Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara in Brin. This is their black shade. This is my favorite mascara. I absolutely love it. It is a tubing formula and it's just so nice and lengthening and it removes really well as well. It's like easy to come off at night. And yeah, so this is definitely a favorite. I did already, or no, I didn't repurchase. I'm actually using the um, brown black shade of this version. It's, this is the black. I like the black better, I think, but I'm actually currently using the brown black. So yeah, I kind of did repurchase and I can see myself repurchasing this forever. I think it's just the best mascara. You gotta try it. Then we have another hair product, the Tresemme little, I think it's the Tres 2. Yeah, Tres 2 Extra Hold number 4 hairspray. I do already have another one of these. Tresemme is, is cruelty free finally, which is exciting. So I can see myself repurchasing this. I do already have another one of this. So I might have already repurchased or I already had it. But definitely love this hairspray. It's like probably the one of the most affordable nice hairspray that's also cruelty free now so that's nice then we have a couple lotions i have two from bath and body works i don't purchase from bath and body works they are not cruelty free but i do get these as gifts a lot and i definitely enjoy using them um this one was super nice this is the one i used up more recently it's more of like a floral smell and I like the packaging there, very nice. And then this one was Into the Night. I'm just like throwing these on the ground if you hear noises. This one was a little more like, I don't know, like a sexy smell. I don't know how to explain it. Into the Night, <laughs> but it was good. I enjoyed it. I do have a, another one of these, so I will continue to use them if they come into my life, but I don't necessarily buy them myself, but like those smells. I do have one, let's see, one makeup removing wipe little pack, package, <laughs> packaging, the Honest Beauty Makeup Remover Wipes. I really enjoy these. I try to not use makeup wipes as much anymore. I try to cleanse my face to get the makeup off, use makeup remover like cloths or towels that can be washed, but I do like to have these on hand for occasional things, you know, for taking off makeup sometimes so this is nice and i really enjoy this brand and this product i do enjoy and actually i shouldn't say i enjoy that brand i think i haven't tried much from them from them at all but those wipes i do enjoy i have the milk makeup vegan milk cleanser and i about used it all the way up and i did enjoy this at first and then i really wasn't enjoying it because i feel like it took a lot to get off like it would almost feel kind of sticky on the skin and i hate when cleansers do that when they feel kind of sticky or they leave residue almost um and it was kind of a weird smell like it wasn't my favorite i don't know i just haven't been loving it as much as i did in the beginning i feel like i kind of enjoyed it 
a lot more in the beginning and then I was like, oh, I don't know about this. So I would not repurchase. I do like the vegan milk moisturizer. I think it's, you know, from the same line, but I wouldn't repurchase this cleanser. Like it was fine. It did the job, but I didn't love it. Then we have two It Cosmetics CC Plus color correcting full coverage cream <laughs> with the SPF 50. These actually just went bad. It was kind of sad that this happened, but yeah, they went bad. So I realized that they have the expiration date on them. This one expired in 2020 and this one expired in 2021. Granted, I haven't used them much uh, because I've gotten pretty paler. <laughs> I've gotten pretty pale over the last couple years. I feel like I or maybe I didn't wear the right foundation back then, but I'm maybe more of the fair light. This one's fair light, but light is definitely too dark for me now. Um, if you see the difference, <laughs> um, but yeah, so these ones are a no go for me. I feel like they're just not safe anymore to be using expired makeup. So this is a reminder to go through your makeup and you know, get rid of anything you haven't used in a long, long time like these ones. So yeah, they're just expired. I don't think I would repurchase these anymore. I've kind of moved on. Um, they are a little more full coverage than I like anymore. I'm wearing another CC cream today that is the pure one, I believe, or no. No, it's the peerless one, and it's just a little more lightweight than these ones so i don't think i'd repurchase these which is crazy this is like a sad moment because these were my go-to foundations um the foundation product i would use in college in high school so it's kind of weird i'm like moving on but you gotta love these products you gotta give them props i feel like this was a great product back in the day i'm just kind of moved on a little bit my preferences have changed. I like a little bit more of a light coverage look. I don't know, not light coverage. Yeah, I guess just that's a little more full coverage. Another foundation type product, I have powders actually, and these are the um, CoverGirl True Blend powders, and I have shade one, translucent fair, and shade two, translucent light. I kind of use one in the T-zone area and then two in the rest of my face. And these were really nice. I took me a little while to get through them, but I would repurchase these. I do have a lot of powders that I'm going through right now. I really like the Thrive Cosmetics um, powders that I have from them, the pressed powders, but these are really great for a drugstore option and they're cruelty free. So I think these are what I would repurchase if I'm in a pinch, if I run out of my other powders, I probably will repurchase just because they're affordable, they're nice, they're good coverage and they work really well and I enjoyed them and I used them both up at the same time. Like they both kind of, I was done with them at the same time. So love those. This I am giving to a friend or something. I absolutely love this when I first got it. It's a little skincare headband and it's pink and it's like super cute. You wear it when you do your skincare uh, for like a spa night or something. It's just super cute. But this one is a little tight on my head. It's almost looking at it, it almost looks like um, for a kid or something. But I did get a new one that is, you know, better and it doesn't hurt my head. It doesn't like, this one's just a little tight on my head. So I'm going to be giving this away or you know finding a new home for that one i have a bunch of candles here we have some eos hold on let me grab all of the i think these three are it the eos lip balm but the stick version sometimes i have the little circular version but here we have this one it smells Kind of like pomegranate that smells really good i enjoy these and eos is cruelty free now this one that smells like coconut this one smells like kiwi or something so yeah i used up three lip balms and i could definitely see myself repurchasing these my mom actually purchases these for me a lot so i could see me having them more in my life eventually but enjoy these and used all three of them up. 
And then we have a couple more like complexion type products I have. Well, this is actually a moisturizer. This is the Fenty Beauty little sample of, is it showing, <laughs> of the Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer with SPF 30. I did really enjoy this. I like how it's a moisturizer and it has SPF. That is really cool. I don't think I'd purchase this at the moment. I have sunscreen, I have moisturizer, but I did enjoy that it was an all-in-one little product. I definitely liked it. And then the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This was really nice. I feel like it is super hyped though, and I don't think I needed it. It wasn't anything like I would go run out and buy. But yeah, it was like a birthday perk or something from Sephora a few years ago, or maybe last year, and I finally used it up. Good setting powder, but I feel like I don't need it in my life, so I'm good to move on. We have another Thrive Cosmetics product, the Time with Ambition Power 10 Sculpting, Power 10 Peptide Sculpting Serum. And this was really great. I have not repurchased it, but I do miss it. It's a great, uh, formula for targeting aging and fine lines, wrinkles, those types of things. Not uh, necessarily my concern yet in my, in my life, but I'm really scared of, I'm not scared of aging, that's not what I meant. I'm just cautious of being good with my skin, and so I want to use products like this. I think it's a great uh, serum, really great for the skin, it feels nice, and yeah, I could see myself repurchasing. I do have another serum currently, so not yet but eventually I could see myself repurchasing. And, okay, we have a liquid liner. This was the brand Bella P Pure, Bella Pure, and it just got bad. It went kind of dry, and uh, I didn't love this product. It was kind of like a stiff little liner pen. I don't know, it wasn't my favorite, but I would, wouldn't say it was bad, like it wasn't anything terrible, but I just wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. It wasn't anything revolutionary. I have this, I don't even know what, where this is from, but it is an old beauty sponge. This is so gross, I don't even want to show it to you, but I threw it in here, I guess, to show it. But I can't even remember, I think maybe it's Sonia Kashuk, but yeah, just getting rid of that. <laughs> And then I have a bunch of candles here, but let me just make sure I have all the beauty products. Oh, okay. I have two bronzers that I am decluttering out of my collection. This one's just broken. I really did enjoy this product. It is from Lovecraft Beauty, and I got this in an Ipsy a long time ago. Here is the bronzer. If you can see, I kind of used it a good amount where you can even see the little like lines in here. I feel like I did use it a good amount, but I just hate that it's broken. And I also think it's kind of darker of a shade than I would go now <laughs> than uh, I used to. I used to be more heavy with the bronzer or maybe I would go darker, but I just feel like I like a lighter bronzer these days. So I'm going to just be decluttering this out of my collection. And then I have this Estate also from Ipsy Little pressed bronzer in the shade Coco, and this is also, you know, this is a lighter shade, so it is lighter, and it's a shade I normally would go for, but I just never reach for it. I reach for my other bronzers, and I feel like this is just getting neglected, and I want to declutter it out of my collection. So that's it with the makeup and the skincare. Let's quickly go over candles, and then we'll be done. I went through this Riverbend Candle Co. blush candle this one smelled really good it was kind of like a girly smell and i did enjoy it i don't know if i would repurchase it necessarily i like to kind of switch it up with my candles but it was nice this one was for valentine's day 7.99 at home goods better together bubbly champagne vegan soy wax blend i actually got this more because i thought it was cute for Valentine's Day. It had hearts on it. It said better together. This is, ooh, <laughs> it's like a champagne type of smell and I did enjoy it. It wasn't, I don't think it really filled the room with smell as much as I like, 
with scent I guess like it didn't I like when candles you know fill the whole room with the nice scent and this one didn't really so it wasn't the best that I've had the brand is Leobin but I love home goods in general so I definitely could see myself picking up more candles from there but just not this specific one we have this one here this one I enjoyed I would buy again from this brand this is Candlelight Limited Edition Milk and Cookie that smelled so good. I was bound I didn't cut the wick and that's why it got all smoky. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. I don't know, it's like the milk and cookie smell is just so good. I would repurchase this brand. I think it's a really good brand. It like definitely filled the room with the smell, which I like. And it's a big one. It took me a while to get through this one. And lastly, this one I went through most recently is the Scented Candle Candied Violets from Dollar Tree. And these are actually pretty cute for a dollar. Um, you can't really go wrong, I guess, if you're looking for a cheap candle. But it didn't really smell up the room. It just kind of was okay. But yeah, I wouldn't buy this again. It smells like violets or lavender. But yeah, I think it's a cute container if you clean it out and like keep the container. But um, I don't think I'd purchase this one again. But yeah, that is it. That is everything I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely let me know what you'd like to see from me next. I just love doing these types of videos when I get the whole box full. I find it interesting. I like to hear what people think if they're going to buy rebuy products they've used up that type of thing i just think it's interesting but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye